Barry Gowdy was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in 1995. He began losing feeling in his left leg, and as trouble with his central nervous system progressed, he started to lose his vision. You sit and you cry and you wonder, why you? And, and then I went right back to my neurologist and I said, tell me how I can fight this. Barry enrolled in a clinical trial in 2003. After five days of chemotherapy to destroy his immune cells, doctors used his own stem cells to rebuild his immune system. I have no symptoms of MS. I do no treatment for MS. I do no shots. Dr. Richard Burt and his colleagues at Northwestern University Feinberg School of Medicine reviewed the outcomes of about 2,500 patients who had stem cell transplants. They found the cells appear to be putting some patients with autoimmune diseases in remission and are offering some improvement in heart function to patients who have suffered heart attacks. It's a whole new approach to these diseases rather than just surgery or drugs that you can use a cellular approach that seems in many different studies to be benefiting the patient. The review appears this week in JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. Unlike embryonic stem cells that result in the destruction of an embryo, adult stem cells come from your own blood or bone marrow or someone else's. The transplant appears to be safe. There's very low risk, less than 1% mortality from the procedure. Barry now leads an active lifestyle. Here he is with the ice hockey team he coaches. I've had five years of good life, five years. If I didn't do the transplant, I would probably be in a wheelchair today. He knows there are no guarantees how long his remission might last, but he says he's living proof stem cell transplants do work. Jennifer Mitchell, The JAMA Report.